Hello, welcome back to the second part of Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. Here we are going to enter into the simulation environment that is Flight K 2020. I am going to fly this Cessna 172 P Skyhawk, which you can see on the picture, and you can see once we enter into the simulation. So you can find the subsystems of the aircraft are being initiated and within the time being the scenery will get loaded. To have a visualization in flight simulation using the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro. So without any delay, let's go and turn into the simulation world. Here is the Cessna. Welcome aboard. Need help. Use help I tutorials. Cockpit view. So this is the world of cockpit view. Here we can see the, all the subsystems along with the controller in our front. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous video about the usage of a way hat switch, which is used to view inside and outside of the aircraft. So, I am going to demonstrate how this switch can be useful. So, this is how you can rotate inside the aircraft and you can see the things available inside the aircraft. You can see it is a four seater and uh, there are the light switches, various light switches used for navigating purpose. And uh, coming down to again, you can see the fire extinguisher. And uh, there are some light cloud books here down, and the manuals also, and the pilot. And uh, uh, these are the throttle, and uh, some mixtures are available in detail. I am going to do the few upcoming videos about all these control systems. So, let me go into the various views. This is the kind of view. Where you can see only the control systems, and this is a cockpit left side view. Where you can see the left and right side. This is the virtual demo piece of the pilot, and this is the right side passenger view. Uh, where you can see his left and right, and this is the left side uh, passenger view. In the same way, you can also. Are these views. This is the tower view, how the aircraft looks from the tower, and this is the fly by wide view. Uh, these are the various views generally available in the simulation. So, this is the uh, chase view without a uh, yaw. So, I can use my hardware switch to rotate around the aircraft and see the beam, the tail, and the fuse that's part the proper layer. Landing here. So, going to the next view, this is the tower view lock from the, this is the again the tower view from the door, and again coming back to the chase view. So, this is the chase view. Uh, let's see how flexibly hack the switch to use around the aircraft. So, you can see it's very flexible. Very smoothly rotate continuously also. Let's so, come back to the cockpit view and without any delay, let's start our engine. So, let's uh, have the uh, auto start here where uh, automatically the brakes get started.
just to have Thank you.